it's a blessing for us to gather again. Good morning, wherever you are, it is a blessing. Praise be to God. God have allowed us to gather again. You can unmute yourself if you are really hearing me and you greet someone. Praise God. Good morning, even those who are on Facebook. Good morning, those who are on Zoom. Any source of internet or whatever you're using to view us. Want you to know we love you, we care about you. We are praying for you. Praise God. Good morning, Praise Baba you. Ibrahim. Good morning. Yeah. And um, yes, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning, God Baba Ibrahim. You. Good morning, Sister Jennifer. Good morning, Good morning Sister Adur. Good morning, Miss Ashley. I greet you Amen. all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, it is a blessing we have gathered. I'll say a prayer. Then, as we always do, whoever feel like God, you want to sing to God, you will do that. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for bringing me back. It's a blessing what you have just fulfilled a promise you made me. I'm so grateful for God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your people. I thank you for this privilege for us to gather. Indeed, you are not a man to lie. What you say, that is what you have done. I really say thank you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for your protection, for your love. I thank you, Lord, for my sisters and brothers here on Zoom and on internet. I thank you for your grace upon us. In all we have done, Lord, we ask for mercy and forgiveness. Sanctify us, our gathering, may it be acceptable to you. Any strange spirit in our midst, wherever you are, I command you out and leave in the name of Jesus. We declare this forum open in the name of Jesus. Take absolute control. Oh Lord, may you extend invitation to those you have ordained to be present today. During your earthly ministry, Lord Jesus, all that came were healed, were delivered. Even the blind man male regained sight. Give us the same grace. During your earthly ministry, Lord, Lazarus was raised from the grave. Give us the same grace today. Heal the sick, raise the dead, make the lame walk. Make wonders in the name of Jesus. To you all be the glory in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen. Beloved, as we always do, let us, if God has put a song in your heart and you love to sing, please feel free. We love to celebrate with you. I will celebrate our God. Oh, I will celebrate our God. We will celebrate our God. Oh, I we celebrate. Whoever wants to sing, Sister Jennifer. Oh, we start with Sister Jennifer. Yes, Baba. Yes, please. Okay, thank you, Baba. Amen. Am I loud? Thank you. Thank Let you. Us, thank you. You are let us praise and worship. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I'm saying feel at home. Okay. Sorry, please unmute yourself. I muted you and know it. I wanted to mute myself and mute you. Please feel at home. Sorry, God bless you. It's okay. We are together again, we are together again, just praising the Lord, just praising the Lord. We are together again in one accord. Something good is going to happen. Something good is about to begin. We are together again. We are together again. Oh, Lord, we are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. Hey. 
Just praising the Lord. Amen. We are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. We are together again. In a yeah, to bang a mope, mati yo chalo indo. In a ye, in a ye la chango. To bang a mope, mati yo chalo in a ye, in a ye la chango. To bang a mope, mati yo chalo indo. In a ye, in a ye la chango. To bang a mope, mati yo chalo in a ye, in a ye la kija. To bang a mope, mati yo chalo indo. In a ye, Ah, in a yellow chango, Rubana Mope, Matio Chaloin, in a ye, in a yellow kija, Rubana Mope, Matio Chaloin, in a ye, in a yellow chango, Rubana Mope, Matio Chaloin, in a ye, yes, in a ye. Lubanga mope, mati yo chalo indo. Ina ye ina chalo. Lubanga mope, mati yo chalo indo. Ina ye ina ye la chango. Lubanga mope, mati yo chalo indo. Ina ye ina ye la chango. Lubanga mope. Mati chalo indo ina ye ina ye la kija luba mope mati uche indo the way I am um, the way I am Jesus wants to be my friend the way I just the way I am, the way I am, the way I am. Jesus wants to be my friend, the way as sinful as I am, the way I am, the way I am. Jesus wants to be my friend, the way I just the way I am, the way I am, the way I am. Jesus wants to be my friend, the way I am. Spirit of God, we are here. Spirit of God, we are here. Spirit of God, we are here. We are here waiting for you. Savior, we are here. Savior, we are here. Savior, we are here. We are here waiting for you. Abba, Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done because I'm just a piece of clay created and you are the poor. Abba, Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done because I'm just a piece of clay created and you are the miracle worker. Let your will be done. Uh, let your will be done because I'm just a piece of clay 
created a new world. Put a powerful healer, let your will be done. Uh, let your will be done, because I'm just a piece of clay. Created a new world, a poor miracle worker, let your will be done. Let your will be done, because I'm just a piece of clay. Created and you are the potter. Ana bichung, a bichung in him long old copa, yes, Ana bichung, Pira kenam. Pet yang arimo, matero chung pira. Ana bichung, a bichung, pira kena. Ana bilego, a bilego nyim lang ol kopa yesu. Ana bilego, pira kena. Petie ngarimon, patiero lego pira. Ana bilega bilego pira kena. Ana bipako, a bipak nyim lang ol kopa yesu. Ana bipako, pira kena. Betie magnarimon, matuero paro pira. Ana bipako, pira kena. Ana bilego, a bilego nim lang ol kopa yesu. Ana bilego, pira kena. Petie ngarimo, matuero lego pira. Ana bilego, pira kena. Ana bichung, a bichung inim lang orko pa yesu. Ana bichung, pira kena. Petie ngarimo, matuero chung pira. Ana bichung, a bichung, pira kena. Powerful healer, you're a powerful healer. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you're a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, destiny changer. You're a destiny changer. Come and change. Come and change your destiny, a destiny today. Come and change your destiny, a destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Powerful healer, you're a powerful healer. Uh, come and heal, so powerful, so powerful today. Come and heal, so powerful, so powerful today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. And you're a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. 
There is none like you, all the other gods, all the other gods. They are the works of men, you are the most high God. There is none like you, Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high God, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high God, all the other gods, oh, the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most I God. There is none like you, Jehovah. You are the most I God, Jehovah. You are the most I God. You are the most I God, Jehovah. You are the most I God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, sister. We bless God for you. What a wonderful Amen. time of worship and praise. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you so much. Yeah, we Amen. don't need to wait anyone because already we have people on the internet. So we go to our Bible reading, then later on we can see what next. Praise God. So we'll go to our Bible reading. Yesterday, by God willing, we are meant to read uh, Colossians chapter 3. But as Spirit led us, we ended up reading Revelation 18. We end up with yeah, 18, 21, and 22, which we came up to understand that our time we are in, there are time where we need to take God serious. The Bible made us to understand that He's coming quickly. No one knows the time and the hour. So briefly, yesterday, I remember our sister read, but I can still call Sister Irene. You read for us from verse 1 to verse 12 of Colossians, please. If you are there, if you are not there, then Sister Jennifer, if you are ready, please. Colossians chapter 3 from verse 1. Well, if okay. no one is ready, I'll do reading. Because no, I'll read. Ready, I can't be ready. I'm yeah. reading. Okay, please. Okay, this is the word of the Lord. Colossians 3, from chapter, Papa, is that from chapter 1, you said? Verse 1, verse 1. Okay. Chapter 3, verse 1. Okay, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above north, on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is adultery. Because of this, Amen. sister, yes, sister, let us today we are introducing a new way. You have read from verse one to verse five. Let us discuss that one before, then you will come in again. You read from six, okay? Yeah, so uh, on my side, Christ is seated on our right, on the right hand side. We always can look up to him for any of our trouble, even if for those of, of those of us like who die 
and you are with Christ, you are still like, you are still with him, you know, which is good. And um, in short, we just need to live a good life. We just need to be faithful. We just need to trust in God and follow his rules. So in case if we die, we still count in that book of life, you know? And once like the time when he comes back, he comes back as he promised in the Bible, we'll be able to wake up or to be in him in glory, which is very powerful. Yeah, thank you. That's all. Amen. Thank you, sis. If then, if then, be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. So here, um, where Christ seated on the right hand of God, here exactly what the Bible says here is that um, if he then be risen with Christ, you know, it means in other words that we died with Christ, then Christ, when he rose, we rose. When we go for the baptism, you see many a times they take you inside the water that represents the death of Christ. When you come out of the water, it means you have risen for Christ or you have rose for Christ. So what it means is that you are old man, you are sinful life, our sinful life, when they put us in water, it, it's like dying. Then when we rose now, we no longer live as human, but we live for Christ's sake. So here is saying, if, if then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Christ is seated on the right hand of God. So here the Bible says, if then we claim, if then we have risen, if we, we have risen for Christ, we have risen with Christ, let us seek those things which are above which means we should set affection, our thought, our focus, where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Things pertaining to the world, we should, they should not take us. They should not overrule us. These are the things. He said, set your affection on things above, not on the things on earth. Earthly things, when you set their, your mind on them, whether you like it or not, it's very difficult to because all earthly things are things to do with the flesh. But the things above, you will find yourself, you lose focus on the things of the earth, whereby you are after to please God. Kindness, love, and mercy. Praise God. He went further and said, when Christ, okay, for he are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. What does that mean? So it means that you and I, as far as this life is concerned, we are dead people. Why? Our life has been hidden in Christ Jesus, which means you and I will no longer live, but Christ lives in us. Praise God. I have always said this many a times that I've told you, you know, I play football. So there is a time I remember. Whenever, there is a time I was using a particular ball. It was really old. I think I've used it for quite a while. Then I had the Spirit of God telling me, you know now, you need to buy me a new ball. These are the kind of information. Okay, you see, I play football. Personally, as an individual, I felt like, ah, I think now football, I just need to stop. But it was last year, I remember, the Spirit of God said, now you know what, I want to play again football. So it made me understand there is somebody inside me that wants to play football. That's why you see we have two divine nature. We have nature. We have divine nature. Also, you have that divine nature. And the physical nature, this Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim, or uh, Mrs. Uh, Irene, or Mr. Adu, Mrs. Adut of uh, Jennifer. And we have Jennifer divine nature. That one is the one living. But this Ibrahim on the flesh is no longer lives. Praise God. And the divine one is the one who can please God. But this, our flesh cannot please God. Praise God. So, 
When is never has an aside. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ, which means this our life, it doesn't really matter yet. Our life has been hidden in Christ Jesus. So whoever do you wrong, um, is doing it against God, Christ, not you. I have seen many times when I used to be with people and they laugh at me. When they laugh, I used to hear him saying, Don't mind them. Praise God. So continue to say, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in glory. So when Christ, who is our life, appear, then that is the time you and I will appear with him in glory. Meaning, in our obedience, there is a reward of appearing with Christ in glory. He went and said, Multiply therefore your members which are upon the earth. Meaning, okay, sister, I didn't please you help us, you read your verse 5. Okay. Verse 5. Yes. Okay, verse 5, it says, For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. That one you read before. Read 5, please. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Amen. So you can see, as a child of God, we don't need to engage ourselves in fornication, uncleanness, covetousness, or adultery. Meaning, you are you are what you read it makes us put to death which means we should put to death our fleshly desire praise be to god i'll continue by continue six six uh, verse six you read because, six and seven because of this the wrath of god is coming you used to walk in these ways in these ways in the life you once lived but now you must also Read yourselves of all such things as this anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Amen. So you can see the Bible here says this fornication, immorality, adultery, all uncleanness, evil speaking. They are the things which made the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. So he make us understand that we were once in that category. We are once involved in such kind of behavior. So he's telling us, if we were once there, we don't need to go there where we used to be. Praise God. Because when you find yourself doing the same, you are opening a door for God's wrath upon you as an individual, meaning you are inviting destruction. He said, you once walk like them, which means once you are like them. Now I went and said, but now also put all these things away. Hunger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. We should mind what words we say, words that come out of our mouth. Anger, we should say. That's why you hear many Simon say, a prayer that pleases God is when you concentrate on praying against your weakness. You ask God, um, help me to overcome bitterness. Help me to overcome immorality. Help me to overcome fornication. Help me to overcome. When you ask God of such things, that prayer pleases him. But there are very few who engage in such. People will ask for money and blessings. So, he said that we should put away that. 
Sister, please continue. Nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here, there is no gentle or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, all free, but Christ is all and is in all. Amen. Amen. I will continue by saying this is one thing that we take for granted. The Bible says here in verse 9, lie not to one another. As a Christian, most especially you that listen to me, because our target is to make a heaven. If you are a man or woman lies, just know you don't have part in heaven, but you have part in the lake of fire. You remember what we read yesterday. So liars, their reward is hell. So you as a Christian, try as you can speak the truth. I know sometimes truth, people don't want to hear the truth. When you are somebody who says the truth, people will hate you. Don't say something and you know you are lying. Because when you are lying, it means you are declaring open that your father is devil. Because devil from the beginning was a lie, murder. So as a believer, you have to speak the truth because your father, Jesus, is of truth. The Holy Spirit given to us is the spirit of the truth. So if you are a believer, you live life of lies, just know your Christianity is questioning. He said, do not lie to one another. He went further and said, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deed. Old man, I explain, this is a man before you became a Christian, before you became a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Maybe you used to be a drunkard, maybe you used to be immoral, all those kind of things you used to do before. That is an old man. So the Bible is reminding you and I, such things, old man, we should put them off. Put him away. Then he went further and said, together with this deed. Then he said, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So the new man is the one we put on the day of baptism. When we die with Christ, we rose with him, no longer us live but Christ. What does that mean? A new man, you have to be faithful because God is faithful. You have to speak truth because God speaks truth. You have to be kind because God is kind. You have to be massive, obedient to God's word. Live as example. A Christian who is willing or is in the process of being transformed to be like him who created us. Our Heavenly Father is holy, so we must be holy. He went further and said, where there is neither Greek nor a Jew, circumcision nor a circumcision, barbarian, Syrian, bond or no free. But Christ is all and in all. What does that mean? It doesn't matter whether you are from Uganda or you are from America or Kenya. It doesn't matter. That is not the case. We should understand our background doesn't matter. We should know that once we confess Jesus Christ is Lord, we are all one because Christ is in all and is the only one. What? Let me see. But Christ is all and in all, which means the same Christ in Uganda is the same Christ here in Myanmar, is the same Christ where you are. Praise God. So we should not say, you, you are not from my family. No, no, no. Once we are believers, we are all one because it's the same Christ. Okay, since I will read to verses 12 and 13 before we take another session. Okay. 12 and 13. Okay, therefore, I, from 12, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, 
and patience. 13, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. That's 13. Can you see Peter? Okay, he said here, he says, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, imagine. You know what it means, elect? It means out of uncounted men. He has chosen, he has elected you as his own, represent me. He went further and said, Holy and beloved, imagine he calls us holy, laws of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness and long suffering. We are expected to be meek, to be humble. Holiness, we are expected. Praise God. Why? Because we are, imagine say, humbleness of mind. He went further and said, Forbearing with one another, we ought to forbear with, to forbear with one another. Forgiving one another, if any man has a quarrel against any, even as Christ has forgiven, so also do him. It means if I have done you wrong, you ought to forgive me. If you have done me wrong, once you say you are sorry, I forgive. And even if you may not say you are sorry, I will approach you and say, please, I'm sorry. Why? I want us to be at peace. I forgive you because Christ first forgave me. Praise God. Yeah, that is verse 13. I will read verse 14 and we stop there. Above all those things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfection, perfectness. So I say, above all other things we do, we put charity. Charity means love. And I have realized that in this life, we need all we need is love. Where there is love, everything can easily be solved. Praise God. Love, let us be kind, let us be meek, let us be forbearing, suffer wrong, long suffering, forgiving, because Christ has forgiven us. Praise God. That is, may God bless his word. So anyone, best, I can start with you, sister, if you want to say anything from verse 1 of first, of Corinthians. Colossians, Colossians chapter 3 to verse 14. If anyone wants to say something, because I, just I realize think, it's better we read it first. Continue, sister. I'll comment on the, because I kind of commented from the top. So I'll just comment on the last verse which I read, where it says, Forgive as the. Uh, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. So it is very, very, very important to forgive. If we have like issues with one another, we should forgive. Sometimes forgiving, it can be hard because sometimes you forgive somebody or the person you want to forgive is the person challenging you you know, with things, either witchcraft, dragging you to court, doing all sorts of things, or leave you for another woman, or you leave uh, you for another man, or whatever. Like, sometimes it's really, really hard. But as children of God, these are those sacrifices which God wants us to, to do. We have to find a place in our heart and forgive so that the presence of the Holy Spirit can always be with us. Because the Holy Spirit won't be or land in us if we have like, you know, we have something questionable in our heart, like we haven't forgiven. Yes, that's what I wanted to share. Thank you. Thank you, sis. God bless you. Indeed, one of the problems we have all in the world is that forgiveness. Everyone may love to be forgiven, but not everyone will love to forgive. And forgiveness is one that has become epidemic in churches and in families. So indeed, it's a must to forgive because Christ has forgave us. If we do not forgive, don't expect God also to forgive you. 
praise God. That's why here in our Lord's prayer, he says, Forgive us as we forgive others. <laughs> praise be to God. Yeah, we thank God unless someone has something else to say. Someone, otherwise, we'll go to another session. We can take just testimony, we can take prayer requests, and we pray for one another. Praise God. Amen. If you have a prayer request, or you have a testimony? Yes, I have a testimony. We text each other. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sister. Okay. Oh, who's first, me or Sister Nina? You, because your voice has already been heard. Already. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I could like to thank God so much for the prayer request which I made yesterday. Uh, man of God, Brother Ibrahim Kasule said like I should call the family uh, of the sick mom and uh, all inquire about her. The, I'll be told like everything is well. And actually I did call directly to the hospital to the hospital intensive care unit they uh i talked to the nurse who, who is taking care of the patient the nurse uh told me actually like few minutes that that morning which i strongly believe is after the prayer the time like the prayer was uh prayed uh mama woke up and she was looking around all the nurses were impressed when the nurse was talking to me. She was Thank super you, happy. Sister. And then Trouble, she was super. Trouble, the nurse sister. was. Trouble, yes, sister. the nurse was. Super. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Continue, amen. So the nurse was so happy and was very amazed when she was talking to me. She's like, this is a miracle. I never believe in miracles, but I guess I do. She's looking around right now. Even she can hear. If we, if we take out these tubes, she's able to hear, but we are waiting for the doctor. You know, uh, the doctor has to, you know, permit everything. They cannot just take off those tubes. So mama is already doing good. She's looking around. And now tomorrow, maybe you're going to come with another testimony. She's been discharged. She's gone home. So. This Amen. is true, 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 true. Like this is true evidence. God is in this church. We are here asking for prayer requests. We are here asking for whatever we are asking for. God is with us. God is listening with the, uh, listening to us. And God is doing his healing. This is somebody in intensive care unit in California right now. But God has healed her after the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Um, um, I'll, request, I'll request first Sister Irene. Yeah. I know at first they sent the photo of her being on intensive unit. Yes. Do you have a photo? I have it. Yes. So you will send, okay. you will send that photo to the group or to me, then when it is possible, you send us the photo when she has come out. Okay, I'll send it to because you right now. The Lord said to me, the Lord said to me some time back, that it's good we are doing live service because people may think we are creating videos, but because it's love live, you are in California example. We are here praying. The evening takes place. It's very difficult for something, somebody to say I have prayed with somebody in America to do that. So thank you. You send us the photo, that one and the second one. Continue. God bless you. Glory to Jesus. Amen. We're still with you, sister. Amen. Sister. 
Amen. You are finished, Sister Irene. Thank and you. Also, yes, I also wanted to say my mom is doing good. You know, after the prayer, my mother is doing good. She's making steps. She's able, yesterday she was able to walk to, to a place where she likes like walking with other residents and sit down. So she's doing good. Uh, and I really thank God for that. I'm really like excited. So God is good. I thank you, Jesus. I love you, God. Amen. I feel my spirit, I should tell you this. I know mommy, when, because of age, she's so much. Tell her Ibrahim say, a time of death, not yet, because Ibrahim don't have yet children. So she will have to play with my children. She has to talk to them for some years. That amen, 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 amen. You have to see my wife, you have to see my children, and play with them some years before she go home. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you tell her that. Yeah, you tell her. She should not worry. Amen. Oh, she's going to be happy. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, sister, sister, you know I'm soon getting married by God will. Sister, Amen. Sister, so praise Sophie. God. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. I want to thank God. Yeah, yesterday you pray. Um, I, I was just released, me, myself, I was released. I, I wake up, I'm okay, I'm fine. I don't have anything. So I don't know what happened to me exactly. I feel like I am a different person. I'm healthy. I feel a lot of change in my life yesterday when you pray for me. And you said that what? really has changed my life a lot. I feel, I feel just something just went out of me. So I'm okay. I'm free. I thank God so much for praying for me. I thank God so much for what God has done. And not that, um, also I thank God for my family because they're fine. I thank God also for the life of my boss and the husband. They are very fine. They are very happy. Um, like he has come down, he's just cool with me. Yeah, so I thank God so much for what God has done. And not that, um, I, okay, um, my sister right now from Southern Sudan, he have a terrible flu. You cannot even hear a voice and she have a terrible cough. Yesterday you pray for her. Then he told me he get a, okay. He told me at first the noise has has, has open. Now he told me the blue and cough they are increasing. Now you cannot hear the voice when he's talking. Then I told her, don't worry, God will kill you. That's what I told her. Thank you. God bless you all. Yeah, you pray for my sister. Amen. Let God. Yeah. Amen. Okay, stretch your hand, you know. I feel the grace is too much. You keep me in your prayer. I am asking for one of these days I want to come and visit people in hospital and dismiss them. Because I have realized this is time. So you keep me in your prayers. I'm waiting for the day. I want to go and dismiss people from hospital in Yama hospital. Amen. Because I have noticed that every time you pray, people get healed. Amen. That's why you hear many I say to you, the Lord says it is time. Help me bring people forth. We only pray. It has nothing to do with me. That is how God does his thing. Around you in your community, there are people suffering. In your villages, sell them, send the photo, send the photo to the group. Send their prayer request. We only pray and people get up because it has been confirmed. Jesus says, Son, it is time. 
Praise God. You will hear very soon. I will visit one of the hospital and Jesus will dismiss them. Because I Amen. saw sometimes, several times in the group in the mortuary. And I find dead people and I'm dismissing them from the mortuary. I see people without arm, but entering the hospital, I see arms growing. Keep me in your prayer. When these things happen, men will start calling me names. You know them. But I have said, you good enough is life. So when they start saying that boy is not from God, you just know I have told you. They will start calling names. I have seen entering in mortuary and releasing people from dead, rising from the dead. People who are dead, almost dead in coma, I see them coming out, seeing this me. Hallelujah. So, Lord, say we should we give go. God glory. When I go in your prayer, so be ready, they will start calling me name. That boy is not from God. You hear what he says, not from God. So when they say that, please quickly come to this video and remember I told you. Because they will soon call me name. Praise God. Okay. Straight to your hand, we dismiss that people all trouble from your sister. My sisters, my brothers, God loves us. When he decides to do things, it has nothing to do with us. It's something he passed before we were born. Jesus has paid it all. Praise God. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again in our lives. Open our eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Do it again, do it again in our Lord. Open our eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again in our love. Open our eyes to see Jesus. Open our eyes to see you, Jesus. Sit there upon the throne. Open your eyes to see Jesus. Sit there upon the throne. Open the eyes, see Jesus, seated upon the throne. In the name of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, whatever and whatever our sister did, wrong, no, 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 be forgiven. Jesus paid it all. Son of David, have mercy on us. We thank you for your healing and deliverance. Father, this is what you say, son, men and women. The time have come we know that God exists. As I stretch my hands toward this sister, I hear she cannot speak. But at this very time, for distance is not a barrier. You and clean spirit, wherever you are, out of our body. I command those throats be open, voice be restored. Demon, out and never return. Demon, you have been created to be cast out. I cast you out of our system. I cast you out of our organ. I cast you out of our stomach. Out, you demon. Out, you infirmity. Out, you sickness and diseases. Out. In the name of Jesus, I decree her healed by the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. We want to hear from you concerning that your sister call her after prayer and come with a testament to the glory of God. Sister oh, Jennifer, please. Okay, thank you. God Amen. bless God. you. Yeah. I, I see you are looking very beautiful. Continue to take care of yourself because I'm excited to see you getting married soon. And you'll have a good man. Amen. Amen. I have said it. You'll have a man. 
If there is no man, I call a man that I, only comes from God to locate you. In Jesus' name. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to hear you. You are called a man. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. We serve a God who never fails. Jesus is a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. Jesus is a friend who will never fail. We serve a God who never fails. Jesus is a God who never fails. Amen. Sister Jennifer, please. Amen, amen, amen. I can feel the joy and the happiness. This is amazing. Sister Sophie, I rejoice amen. with you. Sister Irene, everybody. Um uh my test, I mean my 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 prayer request today would be for, for my sisters. Um the one that I follow, she's called Betty, she's always had allergies and uh She's been dealing with it for a very long time now. And uh, yesterday she called me that the eyes are just paining her too much and she just doesn't know what to do anymore. So I told her, you know what? You cannot, you cannot give up because the God we serve is a miracle working God. So I want, I want us to pray for her for total healing so that her sight can, so that she can regain her sight back and uh, the itching and the pain should go away in Jesus name. And then uh, my follower, who is a twin, Anna. Anna, is, uh, she, she has diabetes and uh, I want to, to, to pray for complete healing. She has diabetes and um, she's HIV, so I, I want something to do because right now she's jobless and she's in uh, Kitugum. Those are my prayer requests. Amen. Charge Amen. To your stomach. Put your right hand there. We pray for Anna and for the other one who have eye problem. After okay. the and the one with the eye problem, I think by God we need to start studying. You come with the testimony. Then mm -hmm. Anna, we wait to hear uh talk also. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Jesus, you are God, you are not a man, no. You are God, you are not a man, no. You are God, you are not a man, no. You are God, you are not a man, no. You are God, you are not a man, Jesus. You are God, you are not a man, no. Beside thee, there is no God. Only you, you are the Savior. You sit on the mountain and they melt. I call you Jesus because your name is above all names. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for writing our names in the book of the living. By your mercy, we are forgiven. Anna, whatever it is, be forgiven. I heard you are jobless. Your name has been mentioned in this place. God provide. May job be provided. That rejection and hatred pass upon you be broken this very hour. That spirit that follow you make you not to be recognized. I give it to radical. You people, live and never return in the life of time. Whatever she's struggling with, cease. I take away all her trouble. I take away all her burden. For Jesus said, come unto me and I will give you rest. Lord Jesus, here is Anna. May you give her rest in her life. May you give her rest in everything. I speak total healing where she needs the healing. So diabetes, you are a strength. I'm sorry to announce to you, you made a mistake to allow to be mentioned. In the life of this sister, 
out, you demon. I cast you diabetes out of her and I send you back to Satan. I speak to her, be healed this very moment. Be healed this moment. For free I have received, free I give you. Healing is your portion now in Jesus' name. Amen. I call the sister that have allergy and whatever trouble in the eyes. As I touch my eyes, whatever and whatever in these eyes that is not of God, be removed. Father, you are God, not a man. Whatever in our stomach, not of God, in the name of Jesus, I command it out, you poison. Out of our system, I throw you back to Satan. Out, you demon. Out of our system. Out, you demon. Out, you Satan. Out, you demon. Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you out. Out completely. I throw you back to Satan. I speak to your eyes. Be ill. Pains. Sins. Allergy become things of the past. Allergy become the things of the past. That which is in our heart. Out. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. I declare her free. I decree her healing. In Jesus' name. By the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to hear testimony concerning this, our beautiful sister. It is Amen. done. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Try to see Amen. that Thank you, call them so that they can okay. not be seen. You know, if you call them after, they will not realize. Just call them now. They'll tell you, ah, something has just happened. So that they can know okay. Jesus is the healer. Amen. For oh God, Thank I you. promise Thank you will use healing and miracles to my God. Yeah. So look for the sick, Amen. tell them, pray for them. You don't even tell them we invite you. No, we pray for them. The healing will bring them. Sister, do it, please. Good morning, Baba Ibrahim. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sis. Amen. Uh, Baba, I have a testimony before I give a prayer request. Amen. Yeah, yesterday you you prayed for me financially. And then today I was I called um the electricity bills to make a payment organized that they support. I always do it when I'm when I have a bill if I cannot afford to pay it off. And then after I done I. I go. I call the gas people because I had a bill of four four hundred too. And then when I call them to, to see like how I'm gonna do this payment, and then they told me that the the money has been paid and you have a credit of six uh, six hundred. And then I say how? And then they told me yeah, it's been paid and paid for six. So which means that next month come it will be paid. And listen, if it is over then we will we will send it to you if it's not then it's paid and then straight away i thank god and then i said oh all right he prayed for me yesterday <laughs> and now i've had a good news and then i, I thank god and then i said i'm gonna tell about rahim later on mm -hmm. so people yeah, of god yeah. that's what god did to me he paid my bill <laughs> and he will, pay, he will continue mean, to pay for your bill don't worry i mean <laughs> You are in God who provides. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a prayer request Amen. for my friend. I told you about her last time and you prayed for her job to you. And you tell me to tell her not to quit the job because she's going to employ people. Today she called me. She told me that this is the time that she took someone uh, with her to do her job that she's she's working as a cleaner and then this lady went with her child and then the people the owner of the house said that this child has stolen something and they don't and they don't want to show what 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 the baby has has taken what the child has taken and then now they're saying that they they wanted to go to court and they 
and she and 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 they fired her. She's she's no longer working there anymore. And then she said she just need God to to reveal everything to her and involve in this case because she asked the mother of the child and then the mother of the child said no, the child didn't bring anything. But um, the owner of the house saying that the child has took something. So now she lost her job. And then she need God to interview for this case because they're taking they're taking the, the case to court and it's a child, so it will be very bad here. In, in, especially if something went to the police here in Australia is a bit hard. So we need God to do something according to this case. Yeah, and the other prayer request is for my sister. She have tooth egg. Um, Papa, I want you to pray for this spirit of tooth egg to go away from the family. They all have to, to uh, problem with tooth egg. My mom and my elder sister and my younger sister are coming after me. So I see this is a spirit that moving around. So I just want God to take it away forever. Not any one of them can experience the, the uh, tooth egg again. <laughs> no more. Amen. Concerning the case, we are going to pray, but if they continue taking it, they will pay it out because the truth is going to come out. Okay. Now they don't want to listen to our apology, but they will be the one now to beg her for apology. In the name of Jesus, you are God who see what is impossible. All we ask is for understanding, touch the people's heart to find out the truth, to find what they are claiming that have been taken away. For you are a God of peace. You say, blessed are the peacemaker. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that very thing, whatever it is, that they find it, and this case does not go far. In the name of Jesus, if really they are, because she doesn't need to continue working there, I open a new door for her to work, a better place than ever before. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus. So, so it is in the name of Jesus. There is a door opening for Job. I thank you because it is done. You took take in the family as a curse. I break this curse. That we see having pain, the sister and the mother. I command in the name of Jesus, you pain cease. I command instant healing because faith heal now. Jesus said, if you have faith, you will command mountain. I command that mountain, that pain cease. You curse be broken. I declare them healed, delivered in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We wait for the testimony. I see Sister Irene because we are, if not, Amen. I would love to pray for you before we go. Amen. Bye-bye. We need a prayer request to maintain the, uh, my insurance takes me to my doctor, like a different hospital, which my doctor whom I really like, I could like God to maintain it or keep it for me so that they don't kick me out. Uh, what Medical insurance. I have medical insurance, which I was given when I was sick. For some people, they give them for life. Some people, they kick them out because of the payment, but I need it because this is the insurance which takes me to the doctors, my doctors to take care of me. Okay, I want to say something to you. Yeah. Sister, if they kick you out, it means you are here. It's better they kick you out when you are here than being under a medication. It means you have to continue being under medication. Because I know insurance maybe may have benefit, but it's like you are claiming that problem. So it's better if God declare, declare openly, you are openly, you are totally healed. 
It's better they free you. You know, there is something that always happens. I don't know. I will just give an example. Example, if you have a card of disabled, it means you are receiving benefit as a disabled. So if you continue claiming that, it means you are calling disabled, disabled um, your body or your, your system to have some problem. No, no, no. So it is better you be, I don't know if I'm, I can, this, you get my point. Papa, the kind here in the Western world, you don't have to be sick to have a card. You have to do fiscal checkup every year. If you have anything small going on, you have to be checked. So it is like part of your life. You have to have an insurance. I have a second insurance from my job, but I need this particular insurance. Yes, that's why I'm requesting for it. I cannot, I don't qualify for benefits. You have to like either be a single mom with children or like really like in need. I don't get benefits. Um, I, I don't qualify. It's just like this kind of insurance, that's it. Yeah, you know, my sister will ask you, what is the reason why you really want it if you have another one? I have a second insurance cause the kind of insurance I have, it only goes to the hospital where I work, but the second insurance, I have to go outside my hospital where I have all my doctor, my doctors. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, Jesus yeah. said, ask anything. So you have asked anything. <laughs> yes. We join you. So Jesus my doctors said, are ask. outside my work, my, my hospital. Okay. I go to St. Joseph, I work at Valley Wise. Yeah. I thank God you have doctor. You know me, I don't have doctor. Jesus is my doctor. <laughs> let me make you, you let me, and what surprised people like today they were doing some tests they say how oh. how oh, <laughs> they wonder because Jesus is my doctor they don't find anything they wonder which kind of human being are you that's what many a times doctors ask me whenever they have times to take me why I have only one doctor okay Jesus say what you ask which okay since that's what you want we join you in faith. In the name of Jesus, your request, it is our command. In the name of Jesus, we join you in faith as you desire that insurance to be given. So it is. We wait to hear you telling us it was granted or it is extended. We thank you for Jesus' sake. Ask anything. So we join you asking in faith, believing you receive in Jesus' name. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. We went to hear this from you. I see Sister Jennifer again. Yes, Baba Ibrahim. Yes, please. I, I just wanted to give a confirmation that I've just called uh, the two sisters now, and uh, luckily I was able to, to, to get hold of them. Anna is deep, deep in the village. And uh, I told, I asked her if um, she was having any pain now because um, then she told me that where she 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 normally has pain, she was sweeping it on on her on her knees. That whenever she passes her hands through there, she feels pain a lot. But now it is not paining. But the only thing that she's feeling right now is a, a bit of a tinkleish on on the toes. That is. Um, that is the reply she's given me. And I told her, continue reciting and saying you're healed by his strips, you're healed. Eh? And she said, thank you to Jesus for healing her. Then the other one with the eye problem, she said, um, since morning, she was, she didn't have, normally it comes like right now she's okay. And I told her, yes, uh, the reason why I've called you is because I want you to, to tell me if, if you feel any difference or any any right now and she said she's okay right now so to god be the glory thank Amen. you we want to thank jesus for give, healing give them all time. of them and i pray that it remains permanent in jesus name amen okay. that is we call it the testimony wait on saturday you come up when they have experienced 
Praise God. Come back on Saturday. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you. That is God bless you too. We clap you for Jesus for what you have done. He done he healed instantly. When you call up, let them check themselves from now until Saturday. When we meet on Saturday, you call them, then you come and tell people because you will not they will not say we are feeling something. Amen. You stretch your hand, me and you will pray. As I will be singing a song, I want you to tell God something. Tell him there's something you may not want to mention on the forum, tell him. Then I'll pray for you. And we call it a day. Talk to him, talk to him. There's something you have asked God for many days, it has not yet happened. Ask him. Remind him of that thing, tell him. Say, I am in God who provide. Abraham did not have a sacrifice. Isaac asked him, and you provided a lamb. May you provide, speak to him, speak to him, speak to him that very thing. Tell God that thing. Remind him of his promises in his life, in your life. Remind him, remind him. You are Alpha and Omega. Lord, we worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, as they are calling on you, O oh God, for you say, ask anything. They are asking, reminding you of all your promises. For God, you are not a man. Your word will surely come to pass. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass. He will never learn. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass, he will never learn. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass, he will never learn. Jesus is not a man, his word will surely come to pass, he will never learn. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass, he will never lie. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass, he will never lie. God is not a man, his word will surely come to pass in your life. That very thing that you ask of God, in the name of Jesus, Whatever and whatever hinders that to come, be removed in the name of Jesus. Is it sin? I've become a barrier. You sin, be removed in the name of Jesus. Sin power over you, be broken in the name of Jesus. Is it curse? You curse, be broken in the name of Jesus. As we have read, we get a ride away, get rid of old man. Every old man deeds in this forum be separated. Envy, jealousy, morality, anger, wrath, uncleanness, covetous, out, out, and never return. Out, you demon. Out, you unclean spirit. Out you disobedience. You demon, wherever you are, in the life of my people, I command you in the name of Jesus. Out. You weakness, out in the name of Jesus. You trouble, cease now. I declare you free. I declare you free. You that are sick, be healed. Under medication, be healed. Under medication, be healed. You that are troubled, trouble, receive solution. Whatever you may have eaten from the table of your enemy, I command it out in the name of Jesus. Out you demon, out you unclean spirit, every pit of hell. I send it back to pit of hell. Whatever and whatever.
Satan is using to manipulate your life. I command it out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Every trouble, trouble in your life, out in the name of Jesus. Every trouble, trouble in your life, out in the name of Jesus. Every trouble, trouble in your system, out in the name of Jesus. Every pit of them, I command it in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out you disease. Out you cancer. Diabetes. Out. HIV. Out. COVID-19. Out. Diseases. Out in the name of Jesus. Every organ not functioning begin to function. Is it your liver? Begin to function. You are kidding. Begin to function. Whatever and whatever, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be delivered, be set free. In the name of Jesus. I hold your hands where you may be. Satan has kept you. In the name of Jesus. To take you where you God wants you to be. I connect you to your destiny. I connect you to your future. I connect you to your future. Be connected. I separate you from trouble. I separate you from hardship. I separate you from sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, I bless the work of your hand. Be blessed. Every mountain scramble. Every mountain scramble. Whatever you may have eaten from the table of your enemy, because you pay, because you trouble, in the name of Jesus, out you demon, out you unclean spirit, out you Satan, with all your trouble, out in the name of Jesus, out you demon, out you demon, in the name of Jesus, I command you, out, out, be healed of that trouble, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. We thank God for so far how he has brought us. We give him glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You can take your hand, please, and pray for Ibrahim. Then we call it a day. Amen. Your prayer has brought us this far. Praise God. Amen. You can stretch your hand. You pray for Ibrahim. Pray for God will provide. You can unmute before we go. We give you glory. Ah, no, no. We give you glory. Lord God, we give you glory. Thank you, Father, for giving us We bring you pray for us, God. Father, I pray bless his ministry, Father. I pray bless him when he's going out and he's coming in. God, I pray bless the business, bless the ministry, bless whatever you're doing. Lord, multiply for him. Lord, I pray your father to minister to him, reveal yourself to him. Name of Jesus. And we build a head fire around him, mighty God and light is set in the mighty name of the Lord. Grant all his heart to fire. Father, make his life a living testimony and proof that, Father, you are mighty and we feel nothing is possible. Thank you for his life. Continue to anoint him. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, may God bless you all. May God reward you. Your prayer brought me this far. Your prayer have made who I am this day. May God continue to bless you and to increase you. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, we say together the salvation. Salvation is word abiding in us and we abide in it. Remember, better is not good better enough. Is the best is, enough. The best is here to come. Amen. In Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the spirit of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forever. Amen. Amen. All the days of our life are now to dwell in the heart of God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Good morning. Blessings. Good morning. God bless you all. 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 Amen. Amen. Don't Bye. sit as long as you go.